is or when you access the sign is for, for defining okay uh, okay one more important structure that we need to see here is the uh, there are two ducts which are associated with these uh, with the maxillary sinuses okay we have nasolacrimal duct which is running through the lamina of the maxillary bone which comes close to the nasal incisive notch so that's going to go more dorsally and then we have a canal which is present at the top of that longitudinal septum which carries the roots of the cheek teeth and that is your infraorbital canal and your infraorbital nerve is going to run through that infraorbital canal so one has to be very careful when you do defining not to damage the infraorbital canal and not to damage the infraorbital nerve okay so even for if you open that sinus for extirpation of the tooth you'll have to be very careful not damaging the infraorbital canal the nasolacrimal duct runs through the lamina of the uh, we can say uh, plate of the maxillary bone so that's not really in danger but the nasolacrimal canal uh, sort of uh, uh, infraorbital canal is uh, likely to be damaged when you access the uh, sinuses okay not the frontal sinus but when you access the uh, maxillary sinus okay so in summary you will have to access the rostral maxillary sinus and caudal maxillary sinus independently because it is separated by the oblique septum okay the rostral maxillary sinus is divided into lateral compartment and medial compartment because of the longitudinal septum which runs along the length of the head between those two compartments and what important structures are associated with that longitudinal septum first of all we have roots of the cheek teeth secondly you have infraorbital canal passing at the top of that septum okay so when the roots are going outside the septum becomes thinner increasing the volume into the uh, uh, sinuses or, or, uh, or we can say rostral maxillary sinus okay the caudal maxillary sinus is very close to the orbit so this is all your caudal maxillary sinus this is the orbit here and that's the caudal maxillary sinus in the caudal maxillary sinus we don't see any medial and lateral compartments okay so the caudal maxillary sinus is one large uh, uh, sinus and here we have the opening between the caudal maxillary sinus and the concofrontal sinus the concofrontal sinus opens freely into the caudal maxillary sinus and caudal maxillary sinus then opens into the nasal cavity okay uh, let's look at this this section here the oblique septum looks like it is broken so we'll try playing with that okay it should be somewhere here or uh, probably got partially cut so the oblique septum would be located here rostral maxillary sinus is separated from the caudal maxillary sinus this is all cavity of the caudal maxillary sinus and see like how big that sinus could be then we have oblique septum located here and then from here you have the rostral maxillary sinus the rostral maxillary sinus has lateral compartment and the medial compartment medial compartment is cavity of the ventral nasal concha okay uh, okay guys so this is in general for the uh, sinuses let's see where we're going to find or how we're going to find the sites for defining and opening those sinuses uh, now something i can palpate here on this head is the facial crest which is located right here the other important landmark which we need to consider is the infraorbital foramen okay which could be usually located underneath the caninus or those muscles here that is location for the infraorbital canal or sorry infraorbital foramen okay uh, so these are the important landmarks let's see the rostral and caudal maxillary sinus so we're going to consider the uh, medial canthus of the eye you're going to put one line here one line would be along the facial crest one line would be parallel to this one going through the infraorbital canal and the next line would be or the rostral one would be the rostral end of the infraorbital uh, facial crest and the infraorbital canal and that square area is available for the definition of the rostral maxillary sinus for the caudal one you can simply come a little bit ventral to the orbit but again you will have to be very careful in terms of accessing the caudal maxillary sinus because it is close to the orbit okay uh, the frontal sinus can be open first of all you're going to put line 2 cm away from the dorsal midline like this then you go from the uh, middle of the zygomatic arch or zygomatic process and you go this way then from the medial canthus of the eye one line would be plotted here okay and that square area again middle of the okay people on this side are not seeing that one so middle of the facial crest one more line plotted here 
So that square area is available for refining or opening of the conco frontal sinus. Okay. So in the horse, it is not frontal sinus only. It is always conco frontal sinus because it is connected to the dorsal nasal concha. The maxillary sinus, the medial compartment is nothing or rostral maxillary sinus. Medial compartment is nothing but cavity of the ventral nasal concha. Okay. Rostral and caudal are separated by oblique septum. Rostral is divided into two compartments by means of longitudinal septum. And longitudinal septum has roots of the cheek teeth as well as infraorbital canal. Okay. Uh, here I can feel the nasal incisive notch. This is the nasal bone here on top and this is the uh, incisive bone and that is the notch which can be felt on live animal and your nasal lacrimal duct is going to go this way so there is no much possibilities of damaging the nasal lacrimal duct but once you go into the sinus possibilities are there that you can damage the infraorbital canal and infraorbital nerve okay okay so uh, those are a few things regarding the sinuses uh, there are other sinuses present but those are the important ones that we're gonna we, we have just considered like the concofrontal sinus and the maxillary sinus okay Okay, now if you have any other question or anything that is not clear, we can discuss those. Okay. Is there any question? Mm. Any question about the question? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let's stop here, then uh, we can get the other group.